Hi everyone, welcome to week two. Bono says hi also, by the way. We're glad you're here. Uh, before I got started, a couple of quick announcements. First, one I think you guys are gonna be excited about, and that is I am looking right now at an HD camera that we just got in our department. In fact, we got two of them. All right, so we've got a nice HD camera with a viewing screen, plugs in. We also have a plug-in lavalier mics as well, tripod, a few other things. But these are available to you guys. One of them is going to be kept here in the online learning center at the downtown campus. But this one is going to be available, available to be checked out at least for short periods of time. So if anybody wants to actually shoot a video, something like this, a welcome video or an instructional video, love for you to do that. We'll make this available to you so you can do it. Related to that, we also got 30 Camtasia licenses. That's the video editing software we talked about. We wanna make that available to you guys. The only thing we ask is it is a little bit spendy, so please don't take it just because it's there, you know, and let it sit on your computer and never be used. But if you're someone who says, I'd love to shoot some videos, I'd like to edit it, improve the sound quality, drop some graphics in, some really simple tools that they give you in order to use it, please let me know and we'll get that to you as soon as possible, okay? But anyways, this is available for checkout. Okay, second announcement is actually a thank you. You guys were fantastic week one. You know, it's always been a truism that teachers make the worst students, and a lot of times it is true. You know, you think you know all the answers, so you don't pay attention, or well, the rules don't apply to you. And I just want to say thank you guys for a great first week. You know, you were there, you were, you were uh, engaged in the class. I love a lot of the responses you guys have made. It's the ugly question discussion board thread we have is making me work. You know, I've had to go talk to Kim in marketing, talk to deans, talk to the IT department, the Canada Canvas administrator, even people outside of Bates to answer some of your questions. Heck, even labor people I've had to go talk to about the CBA. So great questions. Let's keep up the good work and build on it in week two. Okay, so we're going to work on building a module this week. Before we do that, let's talk about Canvas. I think all of you guys know Canvas. Um, everyone's talked about, that was like the number one thing everybody said is I want to learn how to use Canvas better. But just a quick overview, Canvas is called an LMS, Learning Management System. And a lot of you are familiar with other ones. You know, several of you talked about using Blackboard, Angel, Moodle. Um, Sakai is a lot more popular on the East Coast. That's out there. But all of these basically do the same thing. They allow you to host an electronic classroom. So all the stuff that you want to do, you know, make documents available to them, make resources available, quiz them, give them assignments to do, set up discussion boards. Any LMS, any learning management system is going to do that and that's the value of it is instead of you having to build a website from scratch and put all this stuff in individually it's pretty easy to do okay so we're doing modules this week what's a module well a module is simply a learning unit if you don't use modules you know you do you just call them something different maybe you call it units you know maybe you call it week something like that but the fact is I don't think any of you just you know spit out 10 weeks of content to your students without any organization so you say when they arrive week one you know if it's an auto mechanic class you know the first week we're going to learn about you know what are the different tools that you can use you know week two we're going to learn about different types of cars week three we'll start it on some basic repairs so you're already organized in the class you're probably already using the term modules but if you're not we're going to use it in class because that's the term this, that Canvas uses for it is modules, learning units, okay? So there's two ways to go about and set up your module. The first way is the way that any textbook will tell you to do, and I'm sure we have some people in the class who are awesome and perfect and better humans than me, and they actually do it that way. They sit down with their whiteboard or their iPad or their legal pad of paper, and they write down everything that they're gonna do for this module. Here's the handouts I wanna use, here's the quizzes we're gonna take, here's reference material I wanna make available to the students, and they lay the whole thing out before they start. Okay. We'll also talk to the rest of us who say, ah, I think I know what I'm doing, let's start it and we can figure it out as we go along and fix it, okay? Canvas does allow you to do it both ways, okay? But that's what we're looking at. So we've got our module, we're gonna put all of our files that we wanna get to the students there, we're gonna create pages that get information to the students, give them their assignments, have a discussion board, and then create a quiz. It's a pretty ambitious week, but hopefully we'll be able to get through it. If not, you know, again, we can adjust at the end of the week, but we'll get through that. And the nice thing is at that point in time, you are now ready to start creating stuff in Canvas. Everything after this goes over some best practices, some ways to make it more interactive, maybe some issues you have to deal with, but you're now creating ready to use content in Canvas and hopefully you'll have one finished by the end of this week. All right, good luck. Again, any questions at all, please give me a call or shoot me an email, but let's make this a great week.